everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for Simon Says Stamp. Today I'm going to be taking the Rainbow is My Favorite Color stamp set from the June 2021 card kit, as well as these four ink cubes that are included in the kit. And I'm going to create a set of four clean and simple, very easy cards. If you are new to stamping or you don't have a lot of supplies, these cards are going to be great. I'm stamping onto some Classic Crest uh, cardstock from Nina. This is a Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And I'm starting with uh, one of the rainbow sets. There are three different types of rainbows you can get from the stamp set. And this is just the first type. This is the smallest rainbow. I'm using that kind of red shade from the ink cube set. This is the color Hot Lips. And if any of you have been stamping, stamping for a number of years, you might know when this happens, when you have a brand new stamp set and you stamp it and it's kind of splotchy, it's just because the, the stamp is brand new and it's really slick. So go ahead and just double stamp that for a more solid stamp. And um, also just having a little bit of ink on the surface, even if you've cleaned it off completely, seasons the stamp and you get a better stamped impression. I've positioned that second curved line for my rainbow. This is the color sunshine. It's more of a golden yellow, so it bridges that gap uh, between red and green without having to have an orange in there. I'm going to go to the third rainbow shape. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. I'm going to the third rainbow shape and this color is jelly bean. It's a nice bright citrus green. Um, it's nice and uh, happy for her rainbow. And the last color I'm using is Audrey Blue. So these are the four colors of ink that I'm going to be using for my rainbows on all four of these cards. And I'm only going to be adding a couple other ink colors just to finish off the card designs. The first ink color I'm using, I'm going to be using right now to stamp some clouds. And these clouds are going to go at the end of the rainbows and kind of finish off the scenes. So I've got all the stamps from the stamp set that are cloud shapes. I'm going to stamp them twice in smoke ink. And once again, I'm stamping them twice because it's a brand new stamp set. And these stamps are really slick and they just need a little bit of seasoning to help them get a really good impression. So I'm going to stamp the clouds twice. And then I really wanted a, a third small cloud. So after I have this first big grouping of clouds stamped, I'm going to come back in and um, after I've cleaned off one of the small stamps, I'm, I just stamped it there at the bottom once again. And I stamped that twice just so I would get, get a really nice impression. So I'll set those aside and I'll cut them out later. So the second type of rainbow that you can get from this stamp set are uh, straight rainbow stripes. So you're going to be repeating this straight border stamp um, however many times you'd like to create a rainbow. So I'm once again starting out with hot lips and I'm going to stamp this directly down onto my white cardstock. Now if you want to uh, go through a different method for all of this stamping for the straight line you definitely could. You could start with the color on the far right and then just move your cardstock. You could do it that way, but I found that I had a little more precision by cleaning that stamp and positioning it over my cardstock and then changing colors. So I'm cleaning that off, putting it down to the green now, and then I'll clean off the green, move the stamp, apply the Audrey Blue, and then stamp that fourth color. And that gives me some rainbow stripes. So the third type of rainbow that you can get out of this stamp set is actually a very wide curved line. So it can go from side to side on your card. So there are four stamps with all these curved lines so that you can get um, a better uh, precision placement on your card design. So it is a little bit tricky. It's much easier to use a misty stamping tool like this so that you can make sure that you have the curved line just perfect and position just, just so, so that you can get a really good uh, rainbow image. So I'm stamping that in uh, hot lips twice. And then I'm going to very carefully position the next stripe over. And it's almost like it looks 
like it's right on top of the red. It's like right next to it. So I'm going to be using that sunshine color once again, and I'll stamp that down. And I'll stamp this twice. You can see it's a really, really splotchy. I'll stamp it twice, just like I did with the other, other times. So I went ahead and stamped the green, and I stamped the blue as well, until I had a nice, solid rainbow image. So I'm going to use this same set of stamps, the really wide curved rainbows, to create another version, another card using those stamps. I'm going to this time put my cardstock up at the top corner of my Misty, and I'm having that really wide curved line go from the bottom edge of the card to the top right corner. And I love that this stamp is so big that it can span that entire area. So I went through and stamped all of these colors once again. They're not perfectly positioned, they don't have to be. You just I just wanted the colors on there. So now that I have all my rainbows stamped, I'm gonna set all those aside and bring back that sheet of clouds. I'm trimming them out with some scissors. I'm leaving just a little bit of a line on the outer edge. And I did this because I don't have the coordinating dies, but the coordinating die set does cut out all the cloud shapes and the smaller rainbow. So it gives you like, you know, the right size for where that rainbow would be. I use some Altenew foam tape and I just cut it down to some smaller pieces and I put that directly down onto my card front. Put the foam tape underneath the clouds and then put it onto my card front. And these just are just sized perfectly to finish off the smaller rainbow. All right, so I've got this card basically ready for a greeting. I'm going to set that aside and apply some more clouds to our straight line rainbow card. I've got the medium cloud and also a small cloud. And then for that large cloud, I have put foam tape just on the top half of the cloud. I'm applying it to the bottom of my card design. And then I'm using a ruler. This is actually a cut -a line ruler from My Sweet Petunia and a craft knife to cut off that bottom edge. So now that I have all the clouds applied to my card designs, I now can position and stamp my greetings. I'm going to be using four different greetings from the stamp set. This first one says, I love you for who you are. Stamp that in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I'm going to use that same black ink for all of these. This next one says, you are my rainbow. Uh, let's see, you are my rainbow on a cloudy day. And then this third one says, rainbow is my favorite color. And the very last card design says, you make me happy. I think that's what it says. Pretty sure that's what it says. You make me happy. Yeah. So such fun card designs. Very, very simple. I noticed I had a little bit of ink on the corner on the edge of this card design. So I'm going to use a Tombow sand eraser and show you how to take that ink off some white cardstock. I'm applying pretty good pressure to this sand eraser. And I had to erase for, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And I checked every few seconds to see if the color was gone. And then finally, I had sanded off enough of the surface that it was gone. I'm using some of that same cardstock, this is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And I've scored that at five and a half to create top folding card bases. So I'm using my bone folder and just creasing those, getting everything folded and ready for my card fronts to be adhered. Now, if you wanted to save a little bit of cardstock, you could have done all of the stamping directly onto the card base. But since these are so simple and they're very clean cards, um, I decided to work on them separately. I didn't want to work on the card bases themselves and adhering the card design to the front will give it a little bit more weight and make it just feel a little bit more substantial. So even though it's a very clean and simple card, it's got a little bit of heft to it, which I think is really nice. So I adhered all of my card designs to the front of each of the cards. And then I have four very easy, clean and simple cards to create using the card kit. You can get all the supplies that I've used today down below in the video description. They are available at simonsystamp.com. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.